everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm doing um, a Kylie Jenner slash fall look inspired look um, I'm laughing at the Kylie Jenner part because everybody's doing Kylie Jenner right now and I was so hesitant to like you know say that that's what my video is gonna be about but let's be honest she's trending so I'm gonna do it and I do love her makeup I mean I'm not gonna lie her makeup is always looking good I wanted to do it more for the lip um she doesn't really do because I did it's also like cat eye I mixed like three in one today it's fall Kylie and cat eye very dramatic if you guys want to see how to get this look please continue watching and I hope you guys enjoy and that's it <laughs> okay let's get started Today I'm going to be using a new product. It's called Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. It's oil-free formation to soften, smooth, and improve skin's texture. They have a lotion and a gel. So the lotion is for more if you have, um, if you tend to have dry skin because it is oil-based, and the gel is oil-free. So depending on your skin combination, you're going to use either the gel or the lotion. So just using that to prep my skin, I'm going to be using Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer in the Mattifying Primer. And I'm not going to put this all over, I'm just going to put it in my T-zone area because um, that's where I get like the most shine by the end of the day, is my T-zone area. Next, I'm going in with the Pro, or I'm sorry, the Matte Poreless Foundation, Poreless, and it's in the shade 310. The color name is Sun Beige, and I'm going to be using my Will Techniques um, dupe for a beauty blender. I have a beauty blender, and I mean both both tools work great in my opinion. You know, it's just up to you. I have a beauty blender and I didn't realize that I dropped it until I went to school <laughs> and I come home and I'm like what is on my floor I'm just looking at it I'm like well, what I see like these little pieces of like purple I'm like, no. right away I'm freaking out I'm like, no I think that's my beauty blender and well Penny I don't think I've mentioned Penny before. Penny is my puppy. Picture. So, let's just say I'm missing the tip. Ugh, tip. Tip gone. Oh, and by the way, I mean, when you use um, beauty blenders or like a sponge, um, you just want to press the product into your face. So like I was saying I mean I did them off camera because let's just be honest brows take too long <laughs> I'm going to next prep my eyeballs with a MAC paint pot it's in the shade soft oak okra oak orca orca I can never say this right and every time I look it up I forget like I'll be practicing it like okra oak oak okra 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 but I'm using this to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow just so that it prevents from creasing throughout the day and it allows it to stay longer too and then I'm going to be going in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette in Lyric and just just setting it because it is a cream it's just it works a whole lot better if you set it so just applying it to the eyeballs. Uh, next I'm going to be going in with a fluffy brush. It's from Sigma. I'm going to be using my transition color. It's from the Tartlet palette. I'm using Force of Nature and Wonder. And we're just going to be going in circular motion. Windshield wiper motions. Circular motions. Just buffing that in that crease as a transition color so that it'll better blend our darker colors when we add them. So three colors. Three. Make your life difficult, right? I'm going to be using Chickadee from Makeup Geek. Orangey tone. 
shadow. Um, I like to use it under browns because it definitely makes it pop easier to transition blending it in the crease and we're gonna drag it all the way down all three colors all the way down in the inner tear duct eye considering this is like a Kylie Jenner slash fall look um, just because the way she wears her makeup recently have been pretty much all fall fired looks definitely but what I was saying is um, I'm taking it pretty high on the brow bone because I noticed she does that um, I think that's kind of what gives the illusion to her eyes being so big like and then I'm gonna be going in with a MAC 217 brush um, again it could be any fluff it's like a it's a lot smaller than that brush and it's more dense and pointed so that definitely helps you define your crease so just taking it just concentrate concentrating concentrating your um, the product in the crease don't want to take it above like we did with the other shadow and again just circular motions any kind of motions that'll get you the job done for blending i feel like there's like no right or wrong way when it comes to makeup i mean yeah there's certain techniques that are out there that people have created and people just reuse but if you probably sit down and think about it you can probably come up with a new way to do their technique and yet get the same product or the same finish it's all on you just what you're willing to do with the makeup and the product and the tools that you have and then i'm going to go back in with my e35 brush and i'm going to take coco bear from makeup geek apply it over the brown just to kind of diffuse any harsh lines that may have been created I'm using a MAC 242 and I'm taking free spirit from sorry notification I'm taking free spirit from the same palette and I'm just running it by my bar bone just to highlight from the lock palette the lock pro palette the first one I keep getting notifications sorry y'all the 242 242 any synthetic brush would work because you're going to wet it uh, I use fix plus you don't have to use fix fix plus you just want anything that has um, anything that has glycerin in it um so I know eye drops work really well so that's a cheap alternative cheaper alternative to fix plus and I'm gonna be taking light bronze from the lock pro the lock Lorac pro one palette and then I'm going to be taking Copper from Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. And I'm just going to apply this on the lid. When you wet the brush before you apply any kind of shadow, it definitely makes it vibrant. And it um, also gives it that extra oomph to stick to the lid longer. I'm just going to pack that color on the lid. And then go ahead and take your 217 or similar 217 and get Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. And we're going to just apply that in the crease to diffuse any harsh lines that we created with the glitter. Here we go, y'all. So bear with me because... <laughs> <laughs> I struggled to do it off camera. What you want to do is I'm going to be using NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And we're definitely going to start by creating our outline. So it's going to be dramatic. So it's going to be a long line today. Longer than any other normal day. Just because we are going... For that dramatic look okay and for the inner tear duct eye so you want to take your liquid liner and you're gonna start your tear duct here 
pull down. Just create a little line. That <laughs> makes my eye want to water. And then you are going to flick the product. Sorry. the product out and just create those lines and you're just gonna connect it and just fill in the rest of your eye and just start by filling in what we outlined and mapped earlier so today I'm trying a dark circle concealer it's from NYX and I'm going to be using a synthetic brush from the Techniques to apply uh, medium, it's like an orangey um, based concealer. And you want to apply this just where you know you're prone to have dark circles. So when we do our under eye concealer, at least when I do my under eye concealer, I do a conceal in the triangle formation. But with this, we just want to apply it where, where we have dark circles. And then I'm going to just be using Pro, um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Natural to conceal. Oh, and I'm also using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade... sand sorry blank spot we'll let that set because I like to let it set we'll go so I managed difficulties uh, <laughs> with my camera basically the battery died so I did my under eye concealer already um, just using my real technique sponge to blend it buff it in the skin and then I use my Kat Von D shade and light palette lyric and and lucid I always want to say levitation Lyric and Lucid is what I use to set it. I'm going to use a flat definer brush and Dreamer and um, Best Friend from the Tartlet palette and just blend it in with the black that we created. So just running it underneath just to smoke it out. Next, I'm going to be contouring. Just going to use my Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm going to be using shadow play and subconscious. Carving out those cheekbones. Next, I'm going to be using a blush from Milani. And it is in the shade, if I can open it, Luminoso. Apply it at the apples of your cheeks and then blend upward. Now I'm using, I'm going to use two pair of lashes today. Definitely going to bump it up. I don't normally do this. Um, it's not an everyday wear type thing. It's just for, for the tutorial purposes. They're both from Red Cherry. I'm going to apply these bad boys. Wait a minute for the glue to get tacky. And because my eyeliner is so thick, I want to have super big lashes okay now I'm going to line my lips I'm going to be using NYX in the sh lip liner or lip yeah lip liner and nude truffle I know my lips are kind of big already or they are but I'm going to overline them just a little bit just because we know how can highly girl either overlines or has lip injections I don't know they're going to fill it entirely. And then I'm going to take cans 
Um, it's a NYX soft cream lip. And I'm going to place it in the middle and on top. So that is the completed look. Um, I didn't, I was having issues with my camera. Because I'm just trying to figure out how this camera works. My first time recording with it. I do like the quality of the video. So I'm deciding whether I'm going to keep it or not. Or try a different one. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, it'll help me out definitely. Um, share the video. Put it out there. New to YouTube. Really love it so far. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I'm loving it. So show me some love but i do hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll see you guys soon bye